Valerie Silverhand, and you're watching Network TSS News. And today is a rumor day that we announce our iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro displays. Here's what we've heard about the screens on this fall's iPhones. Expect the improvements to continue with the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro models this fall. We've been tracking rumors about all the changes to the upcoming phones, and displays sound as if they'll be a particular area of focus. Here are the biggest rumored display improvements slated for the iPhone 16, along with what those changes might mean for anyone who's mulling an upgrade to those phones. This could be the biggest display change to this fall's iPhones in a quite literal sense. Initial rumors tips the displays on the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max to increase from the sizes first established with the iPhone 12 Pro models in 2020. According to the screen size rumor, the iPhone 16 Pro would offer a 6.3-inch display, up from the 6.1-inch screen on the iPhone 15 Pro. Likewise, the iPhone 16 Pro Max would feature a 6.9-inch panel, compared to the 6.7-inch screen on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. As we noted, the iPhone 15 saw its display get a boost to a peak HDR brightness of 1,600 nits while its maximum outdoor brightness rose to 2,000 nits. Rumors say it'll be the Pro model's turn to see a similar increase this fall. For this rumor to affect the iPhone 16, you'd have to make some logical leaps, first, that Samsung Display is going to provide the panels for this year's iPhones and then that this more power-efficient OLED panel will be ready in time for the iPhone 16. Still, with battery life a key focus for so many phone makers, you'd expect that Apple would jump at the chance to use components that might improve the already impressive longevity of its iPhone models. Of all the rumored changes to the iPhone 16's displays, this seems the least likely to happen, but we'll share it anyhow. Display makers are turning to a new process called border reduction structure that makes changes to wiring and circuitry to allow the bottom bezel on phone displays to get thinner. On devices like the iPhone, which have symmetrical bezels, that would translate to thinner bezels all around. iPhones with 60 Hz screens are using low-temperature polycrystal and silicon LTPS, panels. To support faster refresh rates, they need to switch to low-temperature polycrystal and oxide LTPO, panels used for Apple's promotion displays. That switch isn't expected to happen until 2025 and the iPhone 17. Reporting live from Network TSS News, I'm Valerie Silverhand, and I will see you next time.